Dr. Eric here with Fanwood Back Relief Center. Today we're going to discuss how it's possible to prevent lower back pain. It's estimated that 80% of us will suffer a severe back episode at some point in our lives. It would certainly be beneficial to discuss the topic of preventing back injuries in the first place. As they say, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. There are two aspects to prevention of lower back pain. Number one, keeping the back both strong and flexible. Number two, avoiding mistakes during movements that may cause injury. As far as exercise is concerned, nothing is more beneficial to the spine than walking. Aside from strengthening the muscles in the back and legs, walking improves circulation in the body, which helps keep the tissues in your back, especially cartilage, healthy and nourished. Making walking part of your daily routine is very important. Rather than getting into a car to drive a few blocks or across town to run an errand, try walking. Park a few blocks away so you, can have to, you have to walk to your car back and forth. Some of us spend five minutes circling a parking lot just to get a space close to the front door, or we get frustrated when we can't find the space close to the gym. In contrast to sitting, which increases pressure on the discs, walking strengthens muscles and dissipates the pressure of the lower back uh, discs. Keep the back flexible through slow stretching in all the different ranges. The hamstrings are often neglected in area that affects the lower spine quite a bit. To stretch these muscles, stand upright and put, put on uh, a foot on the back of the chair or sofa, slowly bend forward and hold this position for 30 to 40 seconds. It should cause a tight burning at the part, back of your leg. It should not cause any shooting pain down your leg or increase pain in the lower spine. If it does, then see a healthcare provider immediately. When the hamstrings are flexible, this allows the pelvis to rotate forward when you bend over. If the hamstrings are not flexible, then the lower spine will bend too much to accomplish any type of lifting task. The se second aspect of preventing back pain is avoiding mistakes, such as lifting with your back instead of your legs. This is especially true if an object is very heavy. Even for light objects, it's especially important to avoid twisting motions while bending. For more information, you can always visit our website, fanwoodbackreliefs.com. Um, we're here to help. Have a great day. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this talk. If you did, please share it with friends or family members.